All right. All right, getting into it. Now, Olimar has a character. He has a very, very short frame. Uh, he's very, he's definitely small. And yeah. Which is means that probably, oh, we're more likely, oh, can she do that consistently with every one of the, the uh, Pikmin hits? I'm going to be real with you. I've never seen this matchup before, so we'll have to see. Phantom might know something we don't. But so Swigzy already with a strong lead. And also, so does it, if she's right next to Olimar when the Pikmin hit, and if, in fact, she can uh, trigger the, um, the foresight off of it. Does that mean that, uh, is that like a consistent way to just slow Olimar down and get a big punish? I'm not sure. Oh, there's Phantom was trying to bait Swigzy to punish the neutral B and go for an update. It didn't work out. I will say, with all with fighting with Olimar on the screen, taking the first stock and any match involving Olimar is so important. So, ooh, it's a lot of standing in place. Ooh. And there's the L smash out of shield. And, you know, Phantom is the player oh. expected to win here, but... Definitely, you but yeah, Swigzy, Swigzy definitely had, was, had a crazy level up during the quarantine era. He's been playing with, like, people in Westchester. I think this is the most approved player in our region. All right, but it's Phantom. He's not improved. He's proving he, he, he's to be one of the best players proving, yeah, on the East Coast, good. honestly. So, yes, to see but. him in action right here... It's, he's down by not that much, but enough against Olimar. The, whenever you're down by any amount against Olimar, and you realize that you have to approach, especially considering the fact that Pyro and Mithra don't really have a projectile, they can't force the approach themselves. Even if they don't have a projectile, Mithra is still extremely fast and mobile. Like, she definitely can just get into your face if she needs to. Yeah, but the, the risk of if you mess up trying to get in against Olimar is just, it, it hurts, man. Oh, so he only has one Pikmin. And he has yeah, zero he had, he had no pick He's, He jabbed one and dashed back. That's so funny. Ooh, Whoa. That was a great air dodge read. That's, that's, that, that actually, that's actually the common problem that a lot of people have when they get hit by part of Omar in the air. Ooh, and there's, there's the, the purple Pikmin yep. getting the back air. Just good Pikmin management right there. Making sure to keep out those strong, hard-hitting ones for when he needed them most. And let's see, last time around, he didn't really get a chance to make much of Ooh, a lead. Oh, kind of like swerving on Phantom off stage. That was really good, but he has no Pikmin. He has to get away. Oh, he has a so definitely when you're fighting Olmar, knowing what the Pikmin do in the lineup, is it, it's not necessarily necessary, but it helps so much when fighting Olmar. That was a purple, so it's going to knock him off. Okay. There's the up air. Swixie just... On a roll right now. Oh, okay. all right, yeah, that, that's too much. Too much Maybe a he rolled a little bit too much, expecting his opponent to roll right there, but Phantom not giving it to him. So and he now swapped up. <laughs> what what just happened there? So he just did smash tag, spot dodge, smash tag, and looked at me immediately. So true combo. Well, it's true combo. He, he he looked at me because I I call him out for doing that all the time and. It worked, which makes me upset. It makes man, me when, when you're just like, man, I figured out your habits. You gotta change these habits, but then the habits work. I will say though, like when you're fighting Olimar, knowing like at the beginning of the match, he actually starts with I believe yellow, blue, and red, which means he doesn't have a purple and he doesn't have a white. So that's only the best chance to just run at him in the beginning. I feel like. Well, let's see if that's what Phantom. All oh, right, so we do see the character switch. Ooh, wait, Phantom? Really? Oh wow, I guess. All right. On Palu. I guess I thought Phantom was gonna try all Pyramid today, regardless of the result. But it looks like Phantom really wants to win. Yeah, I think that. It, <laughs> and I think that the thing is like I feel like there's a difference between like committing to Pyramithra and then losing in like you know winners round five. But this is the winners round three. Yeah, this, know, is, like, this is Phantom's second match of the day. Yeah, so I don't think I think he's taking it as seriously as he can. We're probably gonna be seeing him playing Pyramithra again after this, but. But right now, he doesn't want, want to have to claw his way through a like a demon of a loser's I bracket. I think you've seen this matchup enough when uh, the Buzz comes to Zeno and plays Jen. Yes, but oh, these are they, they do have different styles here. You know, I would I, from what I've seen, Sweezy's style of Olimar is not really the same as the Buzz's. No, a lot no more way. smash attack happy, kind of more aggressive, where he's not really trying to you know take it slow, which is funny to say as an Olimar. But Ooh. he's having to recover low. Wow, the, the tricky recovery. That's so hard to deal with. 
straight out of shield punish right there. And now he has two purples and a white. The fact that he has two purples oh, right oh, now is huge. That was such a great weight on the roll-in. That was so good by Swigzy. And Phantom leaning forward in his seat right now. Although, all right, the back throw is going to do it. I don't think Swigzy might have been ready to DI that. So we see a lineup right now. There's a purple and a white. If he Swigzy's going to try to stick him with a white and then try a purple up smash combo. I imagine. Oh, but look at all this damage he's just taken from those white Pikmin. Yeah, he got it off of him, but that was really late to do so. 60% has pretty much been tacked onto Phantom right now. And that means that, once again, he's forced to approach the Olimar. Ooh. All right, that's good for Swigzy holding shield on, on all of the hits in there. The Ooh. timings from Swigzy have been so good. The slight weights, the tiny delays that are catching him, dropping shield. Oh, that was goals. a great parry up smash. So uh, what, did he clink with the, did he hit the Pikmin and so he got extra hits? Hit oh, line? I know Paulo's forward air got nerfed, so it's like minus five now. So, and he also got, and so he also got the, uh, got the parry, so that could have definitely had an effect on it. Oh man, I was talking before about, oh, we haven't really had any upsets so far today. This might be the but, first one of our day. And this is, gonna if, if Swigzy takes this, this is 2-0. He's, that, right now, that's what he's poised to do here. Swigzy's definitely on a roll, but I feel like if Swigzy needs to take this game, I, I, I would never want, I would not want to give Phantom a game three. Like, oh he's, yeah. He's still alive, and he has no Pikmin, meaning that his recovery can be trickier, oh. as we're seeing right there, yeah. just jukes so around him. Yeah, so when you have less Pikmin, I believe you could do more of those ju kind of jukes off stage. And so he's just going to play his game, throwing the Pikmin, you know. Throws away the white with I a dash attack. Which is looking for more impactful yeah, Pikmin so Swigzy, right I don't think I had any Pikmin on the ledge, so his rolling was uh, his option. Yeah. Okay, tries to go for the DI mix-up on the up throw. And that was great by Phantom, waiting out the air dodge and going for the dash tag. Yeah, and I will say that so far, most of the really meaningful uh, hits that have happened for Swigzy have been off of roll reads. That was a great roll in by Swigzy, getting out of the corner and put Phantom in the corner instead. Yeah. But I, I think that Phantom is a very good adaptive player. That probably means we're going to be seeing less of those panic rolls. Just aware you of the fact that you should, like, if, you, if, you, if you're, when you're fighting a better player than you, you should want to take this win. Take the win and run with it. Oh, he manages to make it past the fact he's been able to get off of ledge oh, so consistently. Oh, going for a roll read. Oh my god, this is... It's this is pretty. This is pretty tight right oh, now. He throws away the purple. He doesn't really have much Pikmin. He only only the blue. blue. But the blue can kill if he gets an up throw. But oh, I think that's yeah. it. No, it's not. It, it is. And that's it. The blue up throw will take it. Swigzy 2-0 over Phantom. Wow. Phantom was, was seated sixth at this event. So